hope we're all having a good one there. Welcome into the Monday stream. The stream to start all streams, basically, right? <laughs> it's our it's our get into it stream. So, but yeah, I hope we're all having a good one. Let me boop the screen over there so you can see what I see. Can you see what I see? No. Yes! Yes, you can. Bam. So, hey, everybody. Hope you're all having a good start to your week there. Hopefully, it's not too terrible or anything. I know mine has started off on a very good note so far. It's super nice outside. It's super nice outside. We just got a new entertainment center that we ordered like two weeks ago. Finally arrived here and everything. I've been in a big, big, big Planet Zoo build mode uh i don't know what it is but i've just been struck with the planet zoo uh inspiration there especially for uh thornton hill zoo oh excuse me i just ate lunch so i'm a little bit hiccupy um but yeah especially for thornton hill zoo uh we are or i we are i am just really 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 wanting to get this place done and moved on to a new project if you were in savannah stream yesterday uh you know that she mentioned that um yeah we were talking and Savannah and I, and maybe a few others, have really only done or started, like, one or two zoos. Like, she has, what, her franchise zoo, the sandbox one, I think, maybe one other one? I can't keep up with everyone's zoos. <laughs> it's so hard. But, but anyways, yeah, we were talking. It's like, I've only, like, myself, personally, I've only started one zoo, and it's this one. I've only started Thornton Hill Zoo, so you can kind of see, like, where the different kind of, like... DLCs and updates like here's Australia pack, you know, here's uh, um, Right through here is South America a little bit, you know, here's aquatic and you know since starting Thornton Hill Zoo and Planet Zoo like I didn't know jack squat about building zoos really except for I've been to I've been to Brookfield Zoo before <laughs> um, So yeah, just overall the uh i've just kind of gotten better at designing zoos and we have all the dlcs on our belt so yeah i want to get thornton hill zoo wrapped up and get a new project started i don't know what that new project's going to entail but i do know i want to get a new project going um overall because i've just learned a lot there's a lot more stuff uh tools at our disposal and yeah yeah go ahead you're fine yeah go ahead you can grab it it is no big deal got it all two trips oh yeah, there you go one trip split into two Oh no, it's gonna be covered in hair now. No, I got the other one. You got the other, okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So that being said, yeah, uh, I just have kind of been hit by the inspiration bug. Yeah, DLCs will do that. Yeah, DLC DLCs will do that. And I've just gotten, uh, I've started to build a, a lot, just a lot of random stuff. So the first big notable thing is uh, children's area is gone. Well, yes, stands here. Who let him in? Who let Estan in? Dang it. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of deleted the... Uh, I kind of deleted the children's zoo. It went... Bunk, and it's gone now. But the main building elements for it are over here. Just in case I do decide to kind of make a very, 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 very small uh, children's zoo over there. So I did that. I uh, started making a fountain here. I got inspiration from... Uh, I was looking up at uh, New York City. Like Central Park fountains. And uh, I just really liked the kind of grody old school look of some of the fountains in New York City. And I wanted to kind of get that same kind of feel for, uh, what's this zoo called? Thornton Hill Zoo, oh my God. <laughs> I wanted to get that same kind of feel for Thornton Hill Zoo there a little bit. So I started working on this little center fountain. It's definitely not done at all. Uh, and then, oh yeah. And then I was working over here and I decided to redo this entire corner of the North America section by putting in uh, a moose habitat. And this actually was uh, based off of the Detroit Zoo's uh, grizzly bear habitat. Hey, Eben, what's up, buddy? You're undercover too. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this was inspired by the yeah the Detroit Zoo's old uh, grizzly bear habitat. We already have grizzly bears in the zoo, like over here. Wyatt Andrews did an awesome job. So I converted it into a moose habitat there for one big moose, Hank the Tank. We have the one big Hank the Tank hanging out here. Um, and this is just another example of me wanting to get uh, more old style, more old school type um, habitats into Thornton Hill Zoo, especially on the west end of the zoo here. 
I think on the west end, this is kind of be the older end of the zoo that really hasn't been updated. Because I mean, over here is also like again our hoopstock row. We have our old uh, mammal building, our old um, eatery and stuff like that. You know, our old industrial building and stuff. So over here is just a lot of older style habitats overall. So um, yeah, it's kind of going with that theme some more uh, as we kind of build out there. So here we go. Is Domez here? Domez, I have a I have a treat. For, I have a surprise for Domez. I made I made a thing for Domez. Just because Dome, Mr. Domez posted in my chat there about uh, Tomorrowland and missing shows and stuff like that. So hold on, let me pause the music. Hey, Jay Rastic, what's up there? I am, yeah, I'm feeling loads better. It's, it's. Um, I think my 5G finally got done installing. So yeah, so I feel way better. I can, I can turn on my computer by blinking my eyes and uh, the channels, if I fart, it changes the channel up. So again, I think my 5G has finished installing after I got the, the vaccine. So I can't wait to get the second one though to stabilize everything because again, I can't really tune the settings at the moment, but once I get the second round of vaccines, I think I'll really be able to tune my 5G settings to uh, really do what I want there. So, but anyways, Domez, after you posted that, I went on Epidemic Sound and I made a 15 minute mix of like Tomorrowland type music basically. So. That's that's what that's the surprise for Domez. <laughs> is that I know that Domez is really into like Tomorrowland and electro pop and like or uh, dance and all that kind of fun stuff there. So I made a 15 minute mix real quick uh, with like Domez inspired music. It's literally called the Domez mix. <laughs> so we're gonna listen to the Domez mix for a little bit while I continue to show you all around there. If I go zombie, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll bite you first so that we can make a a cool zombie planet zoo fam. All right, sound good? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I don't know why. It just inspired me to build it. So, or build it just to make it there. Because I was digging the links that you posted in Discord. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. We're going to make a copyright free music of it. And then the big thing, the reason why everyone's here today, is I got inspired by billboards and just uh, looking around for inspiration in random zoos uh, of what to build and birdhouse. Bird and reptile house combination seem to be a big thing. Um, but that kept coming up. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do the Hey Lover. How you doing? Hey, Troy. Um, but so, yeah, here is the Thornton Hill Zoo birdhouse here. Let's go ahead and head on in. And hopefully, you know, no detail spared because I tried to go kind of ham with the detail. So shout out to Wiser for the tile mix. Again, this is a wall set on the workshop that you can pick up there. Um, and also shout out to, I think it was Totter? Who shared this link? Hold on, in my Discord, yeah, in the billboard image area, who posted this? People are starting to post all their billboards. Gek, it was Gek posted this really cool zoo signs, animal zoo exhibit signs, uh, sign maker. And you have to like, it's supposed to be order like off this website, but I just took the snip tool and like snipped out my photo. <laughs> <laughs> and put it on here um so but anyway so yeah here we are inside here and then here's the big main first lobby there uh taking a lot of we're taking a lot of inspiration from let me pull up my where is it lincoln park zoo the lincoln park zoo is the big inspiration there's a video and i'll go ahead and share it because there's some really really great uh walk, it's a really great walkthrough video of a great birdhouse there you go um, actually, I'll post it a few times because the chat is going a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, that is the inspiration I'm taking uh, inspiration from. So yeah, the billboards are a really cool thing. I love how the door looks in the billboard with like the painted mural because you totally would see that right in like birdhouses and all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> but I love how the door looks inside of the um, on the painted mural thing there. The floor, yeah. So this build brought to you by Indian Rug. If you're not utilizing Indian Carpet One, this entire build is basically Indian Carpet One. Uh, the walls with that kind of concrete, like the, I don't know what you call it, but like the raked concrete. Yeah, that's Indian Carpet One. The flooring, Indian Carpet One. So Domez with the 420, get Dono out of the way early tonight. Boom, Domez mix, that's right. That's right. Isn't that door technique cool? It fits in so perfect. Um, I remember seeing Ruble and a few others doing the rock technique there uh, with the faux rocks that we got and kind of sinking doors into them. Where are they? With these ones? 
And that looked really cool. So I was like, you know, let's try it with the billboard there too. Yeah, let's all get claps in there for Domez doing the awesome 420 there for the Domez mix. Uh, another thing that's bringing this build up a little bit are, of course, billboards as well. Getting some of the bird signs in there for the prairie birds. Shout out to Drock as well for this cardinal. Uh, we don't have that many woodland type birds. There's no like blue jays. There's no like, I don't know if there's any crows or anything. Like more like just woodland or temperate birds or whatever. And then yeah, just a whole bunch of little details all around. Shout out to Haribo for their red panda blueprint scent. And again, I'm so happy that I am, that I run a community showcase thing because I remembered that Haribo shared, where is it? Because I want to give credit for this. Here it is. This red panda, red panda house set. And look at all this amazing stuff that Haribo has with this. There's these radiators, there's this fire extinguisher. I took this whole thing right here and I took, I deleted all the cool details that they made and replaced it with the billboard and put some general like bird knowledge or facts in there or whatever. Um, so yeah, no, there's there's a whole bunch of really cool things in this little set. You know, obviously didn't use any of the red panda stuff, but uh, the dono box is cool. The radiator is really cool. So yeah, there's a lot of cool build um, pieces in that there. So the mural, yeah, the mural uh, worked out great. It's actually two of them. Which is um, kind of cool that you couldn't tell that it was tool, but right here you can tell right there. <laughs> yeah, it's two of them there, just kind of blown up. That's the kind of um, would be kind of the cool thing is if we could get well, it'd have to be scaling, but scale. <laughs> it'd be cool if we could scale the billboards because I had to kind of do some weird combinations, but it also kind of pushes your creativity a little bit, I guess, right? So there you go. Modders will find a way, right? Oh gosh, I don't know about that. Not with uh, I don't know if what we have now. Maybe with. They can do some chickens and small birds like that, but uh, flying stuff, I don't know. That seems a little bit next level, so. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna continue on the build. You see, I've started to um, build right here. We can actually start to get rid of these walls here. All that fun stuff. As of right now, as of right now, we have a path going under it for guests, but if the path starts to deter what I want done with this, I'm gonna say scrap the path because no guests are coming into Thornton Hills Zoo at the moment anyways. Um, that's more of a, if one of you downloads this zoo and wants to have guests in it, at least there'll be guests walking through it. But again, if they, if the path starts to just be a fucking bummer to mess with, uh, I'll probably just ixnay the path eh, there. So, you spent an hour plus on a funny Thornton Hills Zoo logo? What, really? Yeah, the workshop has amazing stuff, absolutely. Absolutely. But then the program just closed at losing all your work? No! What? In Inkscape? I've never heard of Inkscape before. But that is kind of the worst. Uh, F for Domez there. You can feel the pain of the pathing and stuff. Ugh, random goat. Can I tell you that over half the build? Not half the build, I won't be that dramatic, but it was honestly a lot. <laughs> a lot of this build was dedicated to trying to get the pathing to work. And yeah, that's why I kind of just wanted to get that out of the way that if you just see me go heck it <laughs> with the uh with the pathing that that's why because I've, I've had it up to here <laughs> had it up to here with the uh path oh wait no it's just a black one so <clears throat> um this also will not be a speed build i started to do a speed build of this last night but i really don't enjoy watching um interior speed builds personally so i don't think that this would turn out that well and it was like all over the place too um so yeah there won't be a speed build for this coming out but i will do like a real time uh look in kind of thing we'll do we'll basically do a tour of it instead i think that'll work out better than a cramped little speed build there head is pounding have a good i have a uh, hope your head feels better there uh heather Kayla just went through the same thing. I think it's the season. For her, at least. I don't know if that's Heather's thing or not, but... Someone else was... Oh, uh, Savannah was just saying that she had a nasty headache, too. We'll just continue this roof coming... Oh. Zoo, not not full zoo tour. <laughs> just, the, just the house tour. Again, we won't do another full zoo tour. Probably until the zoo's done. Because we just did one not that long ago. Probably about like a month or so ago. And that was, I think, right before Wyatt Andrews did his awesome Asia section there. 
So yeah, we just kind of did a tour there not that long ago. So do be sure if you haven't already to catch up with that. It's, it's seriously like, I think two hours long. It takes a very, 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 very long time to go through this zoo. And that's even at a quicken pace. <laughs> this is a very big map. That is gonna be a thing for the next zoo. It is, it will not be this big. And I think moving forward, I just kind of need to do that where we do smaller projects that lead into a bigger project. I was talking to, uh, yeah, Estan and Savannah Banana there about that. How I always try and do like the big project to start off with. And then I kind of get like, just clamped down with it. Or I don't know what you want to say, but. Um, so yeah, I think it'd just be better if, God, come on game. We have uh, like for Prehistoric Kingdom or whatever, Whenever uh, something else comes out, we start with the smaller projects and then get go bigger from there. Like, lead up to the bigger project kind of thing. Right, there we go. There's some glass. It's looking a little bit funky, funky, funky. There we go. Do you find against the guy? Yeah, like I was telling everyone else just before you came in, uh, Domez, I'm definitely feeling better. And I think my 5G is just about fully installed. So I can almost control everything in my house by either blinking my eyes or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wyatt's been great on uh, YouTube. Yep, glad to see that he's back in it there. Hey, Okapi John, how we doing? Okapi John. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Let's get in a few more bits of nature. Yeah, so these exhibits aren't going to be really, really super duper lush. Uh, just because, again, we're kind of going for that more I guess, subdued or just realistic birdhouse kind of look to it. So, yeah, they really don't have, again, if you look at that link that I uh, shared of the, the house that I'm taking inspiration from, there's really not a lot of... Uh, foliage and stuff around mainly sticks that's right domas i now wake up every single day and pray to master master gates <laughs> where are those african oh there we go I thought I favorited these. Do, 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 do. Hey, Landon, how we doing, buddy? Welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your week there. Nice, Jurassic. Yeah, got to start somewhere, right, buddy? Yeah. At the RSPB building near me, Royal Royal Society for Protection of Birds. Oh, really? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, so we are gonna wanna go past this, cause, oh man. Have I mentioned how much, like, doing interior work can be a bummer? <laughs> Not like a bummer, it just takes, it's a whole different level of design, I think, like interior design. So this is what I mean with the pathing, like it's already kind of getting goofy. Like people are gonna be walking through the door and stuff. I might just ditch pathing altogether. I really just don't want to have to worry about the game kind of limiting what I want to do. So yeah, that's why you see a lot of builders after a certain point, they just kind of say, well, about that whole pathing thing. <laughs> no, I'm just making up my own pathing. <laughs> uh. That's right, Todd, yep. Exactly. It's it's an awesome feature. I tell you, y'all should get it. Why anyone would be against that, I don't know. But, yep. I can do, I can do a bunch of things y'all can't do now. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's it. Exactly, uh, Cyrus. Absolutely. 110% agree. Hey, Sylvan. How you doing, buddy? The African dry plant. Which one's that? Is that the... Um, I think I know which one you're talking about. I think I have it favorited. Because it's one of my favorites. This one? The trio, not the Triota, but the spiny headed Matt Rash. Yeah, this one's a good one. 
Even if it wasn't the one you're thinking of, I still like this one. <laughs> if not, you gotta let me know which one you're thinking of. It might be one of the ones in construction that I always miss. Because there's some in construction that are uh, really good that I sometimes miss. That's a pretty narrow hallway right here. It's pretty narrow. We can make it wider, though. It's under props in construction. Okay, so it's one of those. Hey, level wolf, how's it going there? Oh, yeah, these. The air plants. Those are great. Yeah, I have these favorite, but I always forget to favorite these air plants. Yeah, I'm with you. Because right, you have it close. Yeah, well, that's the thing, too, is like, again, I haven't had a zoo guest in Thornton Hill Zoo in, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know when. I can't even, probably before Carlos came in and redid the entrance, so it's probably been close to a year, and a, or a year and a half, a uh, half a year. So, yeah, good shout, Jay Raskick. Turning him upside down and stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, cool. Hey, Gecko Boy. How we doing? Welcome into the stream, stram, stream, stram. Scram from the stram. Turn him upside down. That is that is Planet Series 101, isn't it? You know what you should do with that? You should turn it upside down. See what it's good for. Let's make these a, a structure themselves. All right, so working on the interior structure. Let's actually expand the exterior structure here a bit. And that's where it gets like, sometimes my brain will like flip around and not fully like understand, wait, is this an exterior wall? Is this an interior wall? Is this an interior interiors wall? <laughs> I also have an idea of making a basement for this too, or a second story, probably a basement. <sighs> yeah, that's a good point, Nero Copy. Uh, uh, copy John. <laughs> That's not the <coughs> farthest thing from the truth right now. All right. Oh, so I said it was all. Oh, was that the end of the Domez mix? I think that was the end of the Domez mix. All right, Domez mix concluded. So there you go, Domez. That that's it. Just. I randomly thought of that when you posted in the uh, Discord <laughs> about that, so I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, where is... there it is. Uh, electronic. Okay. So they'll come around this way, and when they come over here... I would like to do, where is my video? There we go. I'm gonna take a look for inspiration on that video. Uh, I'll even tell you the, the mark and everything. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. About 124. Minute 24 in that video. Again, if you're just getting in here with us, I'm taking inspiration from the Lincoln Park Zoo, this video here. <laughs> this person's gonna be so, like, this came out like four years ago or five years ago or something like that. They're just like, why are there just random views on this video all of a sudden? Um, but yeah, I just really like the Lincoln Park Zoo's feel. Or the birdhouse there. It's kind of got this cool uh, older style to it. So we're going to make a little bit of a lip, or a little bit down, just like that. We're actually running out of room. Shoot. This is another reason I don't really want to use paths, because if I need to move this building around all the time... Um, yeah, we could expand down this way instead of going back that way. A little bit too far down. F? Who's F? What f -ed? Nobody F. Oh, F for the pathing? Path I think we just might have to F pathing. <laughs> I think, I think, just F pathing altogether. I'm trying so hard not to compare games right now, but a certain other game's pathing system would be spectacular! 
Hey, JK, Micah. Micah, good job on uh, Zoot and Tower there, buddy. Hope you had fun doing some building there. Zoot and Tower, for those of you who don't know, is our community build in my Discord. It's coming up to a, almost to a close. We're going to be starting to think about Season 2 there. Season Zoot. Um, yeah, I could, but to be completely frank with you, Cyrus, I don't want to. <laughs> I thought of that same thing. I was like, I could definitely do this in, um, two or three meter pathing way, but it's like, I just kind of don't wanna? I'm already doing so many other things, and it's like worrying about the two or three meter pathing is just like, ugh. You know, it's just like, oh, <laughs> something else on top of everything else. So lazy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And a bit spoiled by, again, certain other games in there. Modular. Everything being able to get whatever. I gotta stop it. <laughs> I gotta stop comparing them. <laughs> Can't be arsed? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it, isn't it? Pretty much can't be arsed. I'm gonna have to go find a different backdrop. I kinda wanna stick with this marshland and more of the painted too. Yeah, I only downloaded two of them. Let me go run over to the old Google Images there. Marshland painted landscape. This is kinda how I found these last night. New billboard! Bet you new billboard. That looks really good. That looks really cool. It's more like finger paint. I think I typed in realistic too, because I don't want it to look full on like a painting, but you know, like, that's not too bad. Okay, 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 hold on, let's do this one. I'll put this right in the user media and check it out right now. Uh, but this would more so be for the backdrop. So here we go. Just those of you who are not utilizing blue or billboards yet, hopefully this kind of encourages you to uh, do so because there's so many good uses for billboards. So, so, so many. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Oh, I don't even know what that's called. Um, I didn't name it anything. Here it is, because it's a totally weird looking one. That ah, looks good. Yeah, I dig on that. We have to get in on season two. Yeah, I was tempted to get in before, but it seemed I'm um, so far along already. Yeah, and that's, you know, a lot of the people that joined in, they were definitely in the understanding that they were kind of joining a project that was probably 75 to 80% done. Um, but, you know, they have priority People who are in Season 1 who want to join for Season 2, they definitely have um, priority. But um, we know that some people are going to be dropping off or already have kind of dropped off, so we will have openings for Season 2. Absolutely. We're going to change the two side um, pictures here. That's a good start, though. Maybe one with no water would be better. Just like overall marshland or something like that. Or forest. Let me do that. Forest painted landscape. This is what I'm going. I'm going over to images. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. That one looks pretty cool too. I think a lot of these will work. Let's try this. Big old watermark on it, but you can barely see it. Uh, forest painted is its name. We'll go back here. File, refresh the folder. We're gonna look for painted forest. Or no, I did forest painted, didn't I? Yep, forest painted. Um, that might not really work. We're gonna put a roof over it first to make sure that it doesn't work. Because we need to see this in the light that it's gonna be in, right? So. 
Do 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 do. So let's yeah do that. Let's put a roof over top there. Oops. Lower these a little bit there, obviously. Uh, and then we'd let in a little bit of natural light. So let's actually boop out with these two here. And we'll put this. Oh, is that connected to the floor too? Oh, heck! <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, I don't install it, and it's stuck on 96%. When I try to resume it, I lose an internet connection. Oh my gosh, it's like everything that can go bad goes bad kind of thing. Hey, Miles, what's up, buddy? How's it hanging? But yeah, that's a big bummer about it getting so close and then you're so close, but so far away. Oh, you know what I forgot? To bring the glass with it. Don't I have a thing of glass right here? Yes, I do. I have it. Selected. You gonna go back to the children's zoo part of the so yeah uh about that i got rid of it uh kind of i kind of got rid of it but yeah i'll probably go back to it i just need to kind of rethink it i wasn't really vibing with it so yeah i went back through and kind of reimagined a lot of this um whole area including putting in a old grizzly bear habitat that has been converted into a moose habitat um and then yeah i kind of got started on this kind of main big building at the end of this promenade here and stuff but so yeah hopefully i can fit in the children's zoo in this little spot right there if not we might just have to axe the children's zoo idea altogether redoing stuff yeah it just it just felt right you know there's something that was just kind of bugging me um about that whole children's zoo area this this whole area this this whole big area was just kind of i don't know i was treading water with it too much so kind of go back through and <laughs> just kind of deleted everything, essentially. Oh, I feel like we're gonna have to. I feel like we're gonna have to um, scoot this building forward. It's right on top of the uh, exhibits back here. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. It actually, is it's very very close. <laughs> uh, cheers! Uh, thanks, Leaf. Appreciate that. All right, so how does this look overall in here now? Yeah, I don't think I dig on the the woods kind of feel right there. Let me look up a new one there. Uh, new deal. Yeah, we did, Miles. Yep, new Southeast Asia animal pack. Uh, very, very, very limited with the uh, sceneries. So yeah, mainly animals there. You know, honestly, I think the sides, I'm going to delete these. Loops of paint. Yeah, they do. And I think what we'll do instead is, um, 
I've, see, I've seen this in a few of the birdhouses here. We'll take just an art shape, flat, paint it sky blue. A very faded sky blue there. F them kids. <laughs> So yeah, I still like the billboard idea, but I think it if you get a nice combination of billboards and physical sets and, you know, it's kind of combining in a lot of different things. Like what was, uh, who was a line writer the other day? He showed us, I think it was on a stream or something, showed us uh, doing a bat cave and, you know, combining the in-game rocks with a billboard with some plaster, you know, combining a lot of different things together to make it look really, really good there. So not just slapping a billboard on a wall and saying fish tank, you know, like actually combining a lot of the different skill sets and tools that uh, we have in game. Sometimes it works where you can just, you know, fish tank on the wall. But um, a lot of times you have to kind of add some depth, add, add a little bit of a, yeah, to it. A lot of yeah to them. <laughs> Yes, Bruce Wayne came forward and was like, uh, Lion Rider, Nicholas. Apparently, Bruce Wayne sounds like God now. Nicholas, how dare you? It's a movie quote, but you can't figure out F them kids. It is a movie quote. I can't figure it out either. Yeah, the, it, exactly, it's the Forbidden Journey. Yep, it's Forbidden Journey. Yep. Which is the Harry Potter right? yeah. Have a good one, Miles. Thanks for stopping in there. Oops, wrong button. B, not F. Hey, Russell, what's happening? What's happening there, Russell? These East Asia supports, they've always been a really good piece, and I've always kind of known it, but lately they've just become my favorite piece in the friggin' world. They're just such a great, like, old concrete feel to them. So yeah, if you're just doing like an old kind of battered, I guess, kind of build. Like these old, what are they, uh, East Asia stone support beams are where it's at. Yeah, so these and the Indian rug one. So those are the stars of the build there so far. And yeah, this whole thing, I just really, really, really want to get that feel of like a, I guess like 90s to early 2000s, like, brick just i don't even know how to explain like what kind of feel it is but well here i'll show you the the main inspiration i got from it this is the first picture i found that really set this whole thing off i think it's the st louis zoo where this is from uh field trip time everyone lock elbows lock elbows ready kabam here's where i got my first inspiration from was this image right here i just loved the feel of this here uh, I just, yeah, it just really reminds me of, again, a like late 90s, early 2000s kind of vibe to it with the, and, you know, then that's where the rug texture came in right here, right here, because you kind of have this uh, almost concrete with the lines going through it or whatever, so I kind of like that, the stone pillars and everything, I just, just this feel, you know, I don't know how, what it, yeah, it looks really nice, doesn't it? But it definitely is like a dated kind of feel to it so that's where this entire thing kind of um sprang up there i just was kind of going through and saw this i was like yep here we go <laughs> here we go hold on to your butts i have a new build idea <laughs> and then yeah the uh lincoln park zoo uh i saw that as well and just a whole bunch of things hey wood chimp how we doing hope you're having a good one there but yeah i know a really really cool looking build there so I think I typed in Birdhouse Zoo and then went to images and looked around. That's what I eventually found there. So, all right, let's add in some water here if I can. Ooh. 
can, but ooh, not how I want to. <laughs> Lower it down a little bit more. I don't know why I changed that, but I'm not going to argue. That's that's okay. Um, so I took that one bite that you saw on Twitter, <laughs> and I threw the rest out. <laughs> they were definitely on a ship for about probably a month or so. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, but maybe in the future, don't send perishables that are going to get stale. <laughs> I, but you know, it got got the picture and the card was nice and stuff. But yeah, they were they were a little bit. Um, I wonder if they got backed up because of the Suez stuff. I heard that a lot of uh, global trade has been really really effed because of that. I mean, obviously, right? But yeah, I wonder how much of it was kind of borked because of that. Again, really cool thought, but yeah. Can you actually get rid of this? We're going to redo this real quick. They were pretty, yes. And I think that was kind of the, maybe part of the problem is that the icing that they use for it is like decorative, you know, kind of really nice icing. Because yeah, it looked really cool. It just, uh, it just kind of got very stale <laughs> very quickly. Oh, darn, it's not going to work how I want it to. I want to try and almost split this in half and have a like almost an out like a, a backdrop thing going this way like a curves but that's okay we'll just put the door in we'll put the dr dorian in but yeah for those of you wondering this planet zoo single door two this is the door that i used to for all the uh here you go Boop. kind of make it look like a sneaky door sneaky door some guy could, yeah, myself and a few other content creators. Uh, Frontier sent us a, uh, a little care package, essentially. And yeah, we got cook cookies and a clouded leopard. I haven't even fully opened it here. I think it's just a clouded leopard uh, card there. No, no, it's multiples. My bad. My bad. So there's a Clouded Leopard one, it just has like the general information on there. Yeah, for each one, Sun Bear, Proboscis Monkey, and that's it actually, the three of them. So I got, yeah, the Clouded Leopard, the Sun Bear, and the Proboscis Monkey, and then a Planet Zoo. Thank you card. We hope you enjoy getting to know these wonderful creatures in our first Animal Pack DLC. Thank you for your continued support for Planet Zoo, the Frontier team. So yeah. There you go. And then the other cookies too. So did I hear you mention Frontier is stepping away from building games? Um, not fully, and that's just kind of like rumor or hearsay, so don't take it for too much. But uh, overall, they are kind of, they have been moving in different directions from building and simulation games. Uh, they're doing like an F1 management type game. I think that's in development. It's gonna come out like this year. Um, what else? I think there's supposed to be like a Lego game that's coming out that's like a... I don't know what kind of style it is, but yeah, they're just, they're getting into a bunch of different kind of games, and um, you know, the money is very, very lucrative in those type of games, especially compared to uh, building and simulation games, so I wouldn't be... What I've said in the past is I wouldn't be the most bit, the least bit surprised if they kind of just stopped doing as many building and simulation games. At least if I was, you know, head of a business and saw how much money was coming in from them. And maybe they're not getting as much money as I thought they were, but if I saw that, I'd be like, uh, yeah, can we not spend money developing these uh, building and simulation games and maybe focus on these big money makers here? Unless it's like a thing where they get like JWE to basically pay them to uh, make the game. I know they got a boatload of money from Universal to uh, make the make JWE. Have a good one, Lovro. Sorry I didn't see you mention that right before then.
First, I played these games uh, for more. Yeah, exactly. I mean, totally. That's, that's what I was saying is, you know, from a business point of view, I 110% get it. I do the same thing. Why invest the time, money, manpower, which, you know, all equates back to money, 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 into a game that's going to make you just keep it simple 10 bucks when you can put the same, maybe not the same, but close to the same, um, all the above money, time, manpower, and stuff like that. Into a game that's gonna make you a hundred bucks, you know. Obviously, multiply that by a lot more, but <laughs> so yeah, no, I totally get it. That's why I'm hoping that uh, maybe Crativo or I don't even know who who else would pick up the mantle. Whoever does um, Two Point Hospital? Wait, does Crativo sponsor Two Point Hospital too? I can't remember. I think they do. But yeah, we kind of need, potentially you need another uh, simulation building company to like uh, help us nerds out. <laughs> I don't want to go another decade of no bit building and simulation games like we did with uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. It was basically yeah, a full decade before we got this little renaissance happen with Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, Two Point Hospital, just all the other countless... Uh, simulation tycoon management games that have been coming out lately. It's been so nice. But, and Frontier really, you know, was at the, the start of that. They really spearheaded it. So we might need another, uh, another company to kind of pick up the mantle. Ooh, that's why it's a little bit overextended. I don't like that. It's the roof here. No one's going to see it. We can kind of get away with doing some uh, some kind of janky little bits here. Okay, especially for like a flat roof right like this. And this is all going to be backstage stuff probably. You could totally get away with just flat roof it up and mix pieces and all that. No big deal. I got a lot of things you got to remember. Like who's going to see this build? You're not building for the birds. Right? You're building for here. So everything that we just did, not going to see it. Even back here, we're going to block all this, so you won't ever see this. So that's literally just for is we're zooming around the park just to cover it up. <laughs> Good castle building game where you can do interiors. Yeah, what was that game? Foundation? Foundation kind of did uh, some of that, but not like full on like with interiors and stuff like that. But yeah, that would be cool. That's true, Leaf. That, I mean... Fuck, I did walk right into that one. Damn. Damn, I should probably quit streaming after that. Just... Just no consideration walked right into that one. <laughs> oh man, both of y'all got me with it. Shoot. I think I quit. I quit streaming. <laughs> I officially quit after that one. That's a cool little viewing. Just gonna back this up just a hair. Again, interiors are a little bit meticulous and they take just a little bit more time than probably normal builds would, but they usually end up really worth it there. Medieval, medieval engineers rather started off promising, but then tanked after the devs basically abandoned it. What? I hate, yeah, that's so annoying that devs will do that kind of stuff. That's why no one trusts early access games. I had to like be so convincing to so many people about Valheim. So I was like, oh, another early access game that like one person likes. I'm like, no, I promise, it's really fun. It's actually a good early access game. I am not yoking you. And now like everyone is playing it basically or has played it, which is great. It's like, oh man, it sucks that the stipulation around early access games or because of that, that kind of stuff, you know? Oh, you played a two-level wolf? Could have been amazing. Dang. I 
Well, you know what looks really cool? And it's not really a castle builder, but look, it's uh, medieval times is uh, manor lords. Have you all seen manor lords? And if not, we're gonna take a field trip and watch a quick little gameplay thing because it is amazing. Or it looks like it's gonna be amazing. It looks like a combination of uh, essentially Total War series with a little bit of like town, medieval town building and some like Age of Empires as well. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Let's see, right here. Right here, right here. Pillar. One pillar to rule them all. Oh, look, see, that's why I just, just bam, pillar. <laughs> it worked perfectly. Let's keep the roof going over this way. Yeah, we're gonna go look at Manor Lords real quick. Now y'all got me thinking about that. I think there was just a recent trailer for it too. There's a lot of people in this chat that I think would really uh, enjoy that game, especially if you haven't heard of it before. It's like a two minute trailer. Yeah, here, there's two perfect trailers for it. Totaling six minutes. And I think a lot of you will really dig this. Welcome to Manor Lords. Let's get to work. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the core mechanics of the game, including regional development, trade, and military recruitment. We need more workers here. The map in Manor Lords is divided into regions. Each region has its own resources, as well as a development I think this was like six months ago, the game, again, being developed all the time. One main guy doing it. You get development points, which you can spend to unlock new development branches. This means that different regions may specialize in different things. Some may be more optimized for farming. some for mining, and some will process the resources to make expensive goods, like shoes or clothing. Depending on the optimization of your production chains, the price of the goods will change, affecting the market attractiveness. Free merchants will travel more frequently to towns that have rare and more affordable goods. These merchants are the only way to get wealth in the game. Yeah, it looks really cool. Lord's it, yeah. treasury, however, yeah. is split from the regional wealth. As the lord or lady, you must tax your towns and villages. Looks really in depth. To get money for your personal. Again, this is even the there are different battle part of it. The battling is a whole other aspect. The tithe goes straight to the church. Yeah, follow them on the Twitter. The they do a lot of updates on Twitter. Influence. It's one of those projects that they want to... It's a passion project. They want to get it right. So they're always redoing it. Like, they just redid the entire battle system of it and stuff like that to make it more realistic and better. Including new territories. You can compliment or insult other lords via the diplomacy system to affect their influence. This game called Manor Lords. Yeah, I thought a lot of you might like this. This game there, yeah, the called Manor Lords. In Manor Lords has been redesigned after some community feedback. It is now divided into three. Yeah, they're always categories. listening to community feedback. The first type of recruits are the peasant militia. You can call to arms the peasants from your villages. They grab whatever improvised weapons. Yeah, we'll definitely they be covering this on the channel. The fight. This will hit your economy, and you'll need at least a couple of villages to form an army. If you want better militia, you must train them at the training camp, or the archery range. 
The second type of recruits are mercenaries. They cost silver and a lot of it. The last type is Lord's Retinue. This is a limited, heavily armored unit that you can customize to your liking. Ooh, I don't know you can do that. That's cool. You can build your own knight. Like, special unit. Thank you for joining in for this short preview of Mana Lord's gameplay. So that's that one, and then there is a cool, like, two-minute uh, battle features preview that they just released uh, about a month ago. Again, this is the battle part of it. So there's a whole management of town and regions and lords and all that, and taxes and goods. And then there's this, which is a whole different part of the game that's super in depth as well. And yeah, they've gone to no expense to, you know, make sure it's all as realistic as they can get it, kind of thing. actually fighting like this like how fucking crazy is this that people used to like bash each other with swords and mech like this is nuts it's almost as nuts as lining up in a straight line and then shooting at each other like we used to be so dumb god people are stupid <laughs> how, how do you want to fight well you guys line up in a straight line across from us and then you shoot and then we'll then we'll take our turn and then we'll shoot you okay like how stupid By Total War, yeah, they said it's very inspired by uh, like an improved Total War. Multiplayer, like I think it will have multiplayer. Yeah, I believe it does. So there you go. Just a quick little. Look over uh, this coming out there. Wishlist now available on Steam. And yeah, we're going to be covering that. I think it looks really cool. So, uh, yeah. So now back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Here we go. Let me turn the music back on. There we go. But yeah, no, I've been following that. A few of us have been following that for a little bit. And I think it looks really, really interesting there. So, cool. Hey, so, uh, Cybers, how you doing? I called you Cybers. I, I'm, you're Cybers to me. <laughs> I think everyone else calls you uh, Cybers except for me. So keep going with this nice rug there until we hit the. Uh, right about here, then I think it should turn to kind of a plastery, almost concrete type feel to it there. There we go. So we're going to keep going for with a few of these small exhibits. And sorry, but not sorry, the game looked dumb. All right, dumbass, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good, buddy. Uh, hey, Spud, how we doing? Good to see you there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a bunch of these small little exhibits, and then I wanted to like open up into um, kind of a like bigger hall, I guess, where it's gonna just open up to like a big like atrium, like glass atrium area. Oh, hey, we too so much better. Then have fun playing that game, buddy. <laughs> but I'm gonna check out a new game. Uh, that looks kind of interesting and not play a game that came out 20 years ago over and over and over and over again. But do enjoy playing AOE 2. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put another one probably right here. All 
right, and we're getting some more billboards as well. Or we might just keep repeating a lot of the same billboards because we gotta have a pretty good set of, uh, hey, Bold, enjoy your uh, lurky worky there. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's kind of how I feel, uh, Harry and Russell. <laughs> that's kind of how I'm kind of feeling too. It's like, all right. Can I use this one a lot? There's another, I think I have another membership. I'm gonna just like plaster the membership everywhere. Cause I, I kind of noticed that about uh, zoos is that of course they want you to buy memberships, but they are everywhere with, hey, have you considered buying a membership? Be sure you buy a membership. But hey, if you haven't already, probably buy a membership. So I think I had one with like a Taiga. No, oh, not that one. Not that one. That's the one. Ah, it's a little bit washed out and I don't really feel like going into Pixlr and editing it that much. I think we'll leave that one alone. Uh, where's my wall that I'm using? Yes. Indian rug one for the win. <clears throat> the only bit that kind of stinks, oh, actually, it doesn't matter right here. But the only bit that kind of stinks is if you don't have, or uh, is the little frills. I think they look kind of cool as you kind of put them in corners. It kind of looks like some like rough concrete like meeting together. But other than that, it's kind of hard sometimes because they the frills will stick up a lot of times in the uh, top roof part there. Uh, AOE best RTS game of 20 plus years. Your opinion? Well, you're making you're making a uh, you're stating a fact about a game that hasn't come out yet, and we've literally seen just early access gameplay of it. So I think to kind of make a very absolute like that game's done, dumb, it's not good. Only AO AOE two good is very fanboy and very dismissive, uh, and yeah, can't really take that opinion too too seriously to be honest with you. It's a bit too, uh, comes across too fanboy right there, just to automatically dismiss a, a game like that from early access gameplay. I mean, that's like saying, look, look, this car that we just made, the wheels go around, the engine starts, it turns left and right and goes forward and backward. We don't need to do anything else. We're good. Stop making new cars. We, th this is as good as it's gonna get. We, we really gotta stop making new stuff like that. They, I just, I, I don't, I think that's very gatekeepy or very, again, very fanboy to kind of look at it like that. Like, don't give any new games a shot because I like this game from 20 years ago and it's been good this long. So no other game will ever Top it. Uh, okay. Getting this seems to work with these. Actually, it's not going to matter much in the dark. I think it looks fine. <laughs> it's right here. I got YouTube money, so my car turns. It even has a blinker, and sometimes the radio works. And by radio, I mean me going boom. Waco. 
and making noises with my mouth. Okay. So let's. Domez hearts. <laughs> Always hearts, buddy. <laughs> So for these, again, we're not doing a lot of foliage. Like a lot of the foliage that I see is a lot of sticks. We're gonna do Jurassic's idea earlier um, with the African air plants. Oh, excuse me, I had to get a drink there. <clears throat> but yeah, those African air plants are really good. And then the saplings. Saplings are like, just the greatest they're absolutely the greatest. speaking of the foliage did y'all see wyatt andrews foliage tier list video that's about 35 minutes long and i definitely watched the whole thing didn't mean to i kind of started i mean i won't lie i started watching it as kind of a <laughs> kind of a joke in the background but then he got into it and i was like yeah you know what i i, I disagree with you or i agree with you <laughs> whatever else it was a really good watch but uh yeah basically all the saplings i think made it into like the s tier for uh Mr. Mr. Wyatt Andrews there, but yeah, he did a full-on foliage tier list for every single bit of foliage in the game, and it was awesome. Just totally one of those things that didn't really expect to sit there and watch the whole thing. And then 35 minutes later, I was like, well, definitely watch that whole thing. <laughs> uh, uh, pictures. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Thank you, Seavers. Yes, I'm having fun with it. Really enjoyed the tree ranking. I'm telling you, Tobias, there was something about it that was just top tier quality. You know, it's just, I didn't know I cared about the trees that much or the foliage that much, but I do. Yeah, right, beach tree too. Me and my bitches don't give a fuck about Beach Tree 2. <laughs> Me and my homies, we don't care about no Beach Tree 2. We spit on Beach Tree 2. Watch The Last Kingdom, which is about Vikings invading Britain and reminded me of that. Oh, really? What's it called? The Last Kingdom. I never heard of that. Fell down the YouTube rabbit hole. <laughs> See, that's I don't even have an excuse. I purposely went down that YouTube rabbit hole. I saw him post it in Bro Nation. I was like, mm-hmm. I want every bit of this. Lead me. Lead me to the promised land. Hey, Silver Fox, what's up there, buddy? Um, for a uh, 20 year game, each year is still among the top 40 Steam trenches going through tournaments. Yeah, it's definitely a good game. What should have done is dismiss the showcase game and other so Yeah, no worries. No worries. Yes, that's. You, you nailed it. And absolutely, no worries. <laughs> hey, Silver Fox, what's happening, buddy? Where's the. Oh, there's Stumpster in here. You just finished your deposition, noise. Now it's time to hang out and stream. <laughs> Foxy. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, just the fact that you call him Foxy. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, can someone get a hold of Drock or Melee? And ask them if they can make, or the modders. Hey, modders, you want to make me a blue jay? <laughs> or like a cardinal? Or like little birdies like that? I thought that Lion Rider had said that they were maybe a little bit close to doing something like that. But maybe not. 
Maybe not. Let's go ahead and move this building. I'm putting it off for a hot minute here. It's just time to... It, it's, it, I gotta do it. We've gotta do it, everyone. I don't wanna, because we just got to change a few things, but... I gotta move the building. Oh, we're already over 4,000 pieces. We're already over 4,000 pieces. So there you go. Scott's Pine 3 is, is kind of amazing, isn't it? Oh, that means we got to redo that. <laughs> also, I was hoping I could save it as a blueprint. That's okay. That should be enough room. All right, let's go back through and get rid of all the heckin' paths. I think I'm gonna call it now. We're not messing with paths. This building gets no paths. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with paths. We're gonna treat it like, uh, we're gonna treat them like PK's paths. We're gonna act like the guests can totally walk on modular build pieces. <laughs> so, is it unfair to compare it? Yep. Am I gonna do it anyways? Yep. Okay, so we have that. Uh, now we need to redo the terrain over here. Now hopefully this is the last place we're gonna put this, because, I mean, it has to be. We'll have like the big atrium area here, I guess, and then have them maybe be able to loop back around and like exit back out this way again. Exit through the same area. I haven't really thought that far through, that far ahead yet. <laughs> the whole, how are we gonna get the guests out and like, what's the route that they're gonna go in? You know, like stuff like that, that I guess is important. Nah, I haven't really thought that through. No pass for you. That's right. You all don't deserve paths. Now, what is the... Oh, 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 this is... The barrier. Right, shoot, barriers don't go with as well. All right, delete the barrier. <laughs> Redo the barrier. Uh, delete this. Which means there's a trash can around here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> yep. All right, we'll redo that later. Later's on the Menji. It's gonna make the doing the terrain over here a lot simpler as well. Cause we're not gonna be dealing with the path kinda doing what it does. Oh man, look how perfect that is. Perfect! Change the depth to above ground instead of below, but that's just way down the road if I'm correct. Oh, that's interesting. So you're saying instead of telling the animals to swim, you're telling them to go above the water level. See, I wonder how connected the volumetric water is to the diving mechanics. Like they have to have, I don't know, I don't know jack about modding, so I'm just talking my ass. But yeah, they, I wonder if they have to have the volumetric water in order to uh, do anything like that. Actually, we have a bunch of monitors in chat, so they can probably <laughs> comment on that stuff more accurate, accurately. You betcha, Silver Fox. <clears throat> yep, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I figured, uh... I figured, since we did Tim Hortons yesterday, we'll do a little bit, uh... Whatever today. <laughs> Blue Jays today. Hey, this is that one song that was on the radio. It's the beat for it. Well, no lyrics, because if they did, then it'd be copyright. Remember this song? How'd it go? It was like... <laughs> oh, man, it's going to bug the crap out of me now. I can hear it. Chain Smokers! It's totally the Chain Smokers song, isn't it? It's that Chain Smokers melody. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I haven't thought about that song in a little bit. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's funny. I wonder how they're getting away from this. <laughs> Dun, 
Alright, so now I have enough room there. I know I'm kind of spinning my tires right now. This is what I do when I'm building tier years. I just... I just, just like step away from it for like two seconds, regain my thoughts. I get so spun around in, in circles doing interiors more than uh, any other kind of build in the game. So yeah, I just sometimes have to boop out and just think, hey, Polyontology, I saw you there with your new uh, new logo. Right, right now we're working on a uh, just a general birdhouse. With, they might have some fish in there as well. and uh, But yeah, just overall a birdhouse. Oh, you used to DJ? Nice. So you recognize this right away, I bet. <laughs> All right, there we go. What the heck was that? Hey, BZ, what's up, buddy? I can't remember if I said hey to you earlier. I know I saw you, but I think I got distracted. But uh, cheers, buddy. Yeah, thanks. This is a lot of fun to do there. Liking doing the... Liking the um, birdhouse build there. Bit of path there toward where you're putting the atrium. Is there? Hey, good spot. I see it there. I don't make a fool of myself hanging on some. Uh, don't worry about it, Domez. I mean, I've done the same thing in the past, right? Like, I've. I've uh, Nebuchadnezzar comes to mind where I've kind of gone in on it. Um, kind of stuff. And, you know, we've all been guilty of it. Whatever you want to call it. No need. No need. No, uh, I fucking can't talk today. <laughs> no, no need to beat yourself up about it. At all. You guys have been liking the interior thing? Yeah. Yeah. Making a water area in this exhibit? So about that, we will be, but it's gonna be diff... It, let me show you the idea I have here. And actually, big shout out to Leaf. Big shout out to Leaf because I have to find the thing that he sent me. Where is it? There is aquarium and terrariums. Leaf sent me a bunch of web M's of koi ponds, aquariums, a whole bunch of fun stuff. And yeah, two, one of them, or two of them are koi ponds. And I think that might be look really cool. It's like a top down view. So I think it'd be cool to get a, a path that goes over like a little koi pond area. Here, real quick, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I think it'd be kind of neat if our guests have... Here we go. Or I guess walk over something like this. Oh, it fades in. That's okay. And that is a ginormous fish. Let's see if this one's a little bit better. That's better. I like that a lot. So something like, oh geez. Something a little bit like this. Oh, it's a little bit bright. Is this the lit one? By chance, it's not the lit one, it's really bright. That's the problem, when they come over to the game, they just kind of look a little bit off if they're not edited correctly. Is it the lit one that looks a little bit better? Oh, it does! Okay, so the lit one makes it a little bit more subdued. That's your rip? Yeah, it's... Whenever they come over to the game, even though, like, you did a really good job with, like, ripping it and, you know, converting it and all that, it's just whenever it comes over to the game, it always gets a little bit, like, weird. Get the guest fish. There you go. So, yeah, we might do something like that. We'll see. Those will be some big fish. Right, the scaling is always a thing. 
the scaling is always a thing so but yeah that'll come in just a little bit we're gonna keep going with some more of these implied ex or the uh, bird bees exhibits there hey i'm the 20 something yeah we have uh we have a free update with um billboards and you can play webm videos and you can upload your own images all that kind of fun stuff there gonna be stealing the idea yeah do it that's why that's why those ideas are great right that's why we all share our ideas let's make this a bit of a curved one Harry said, fuck it, I'm building a birdhouse now. There we go. Let the bird revolution begin, everyone. You know, this happened before with me, where in Brookfield Zoo, I built Pinniped Point with the seals and stuff, and I uploaded it like a picture to Reddit and Instagram, and it kind of blew up like around the planet the zoo sphere. Um, and then a few months later, we got the aquatic pack. So I'm hoping that's what's going to happen this time, where I'm going to start the birdhouse revolution. We're going to get everyone to build birdhouses. Um... And yeah, hopefully by that time we'll have actual birds in the game to actually, you know, fill into our birdhouses. They, they did that in Planet Coaster all the time too, where like Ruble or someone else would build something. And then a few months later we would actually like get it in game. And it was just like, dang it. Like Ruble was like, damn it, I keep spending hours on these awesome custom like rides or coasters or build pieces or whatever. And then Frontier comes in and just build, it like makes it like for real because they see how popular they are. <laughs> I know, Nightbot can be a little bit demanding. R Rodney, don't forget, it's, it's Rodney. <laughs> so we're gonna make an open air one here. I don't know how they get away with this, but there's an open air. Actually, there's a few open air enclosures here for the birds. They must be clipped. Obviously they would be. Manifest the birds to Reddit. When I, once upon a time, I used to post to Reddit. <laughs> but yeah, now, exactly, now it's, we do not speak at the place. I mean, you know, as, as as funny as it was to hear SDN kind of, you know, go on his rant and everything, he's not wrong. He wasn't like, he wasn't far off on, you know, his built up kind of frustration with Reddit because the place is obviously run by a bunch of Jagoffs. Like, I, I don't know what else to say, but like, there's, if that many people like have complaints about, you know, the subreddit, and again, it's not uh, ran by anyone at Frontier, so this has nothing to do with Frontier at all, uh, which might be part of the problem. Um, yeah, then, you know, if that many people or that many content creators are saying they have an issue with it, then there might be an issue with the Reddit going on over there. <sighs> Couldn't the birds fly out of the enclosures even inside? So what I think is the thing, Oliver, is I think they have clipped wings. I think a lot of the birds that they have open air ones, uh, they have clipped wings. So they're probably full-time zoo residents, right? They're not for rehabilitation. Now, some of them, like these here, uh, this has a, wait, is my glass not? Oh, wait, that's right, I don't have the barrier. Now these are behind glass in my reference photo. So I'm wondering if the ones that are like behind glass don't have clipped feathers and they're gonna maybe be released to the wild for re rehabilitation and such. But yeah, I love it. This again, this video that I'm looking at the Lincoln Park Zoo, their birdhouse. Um, yeah, no, there's a there's at least two or three exhibits here. One, two, three, three of them that don't have glass and it's just open air. And at the Brookfield Zoo, I remember they have a open air one where you can just walk in there and the birds are actually flying around, not clipped wings, and they're just flying around your heads. But they just know not to like fly in the guests, basically. It was bee eaters, maybe? Oh, that's, yes, I've seen that from zoos as well. I think the Bronx Zoo did something like that where they have bee eater ones, so. It's not self-promotion if someone else shares your video. Right, well, that's the thing with like the whole Reddit thing, and I think Stan hit the point, or the nail on the head perfectly. It's like, why else do people go on Reddit if not to see what other people are posting? Like, what, 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 what else are you doing on Reddit? If I just went on there to like, 
I, that's it. That's the whole point right there. Is what are you doing on Reddit if you're not looking for other people's content to sh to like consume? So if you're in a community that has content creators and others that are trying to share their content and you're actively fighting them, you're dumb. You're 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 dumb. It that brain level zero with that one. Like you're just you're literally uh, trying to cause an issue where there's no issue at that point so dumb and stop it it's like it, they have a power trip for a fucking subreddit <laughs> like, oh boy you got us with your subreddit powers oh boy I'm like get off your high horse go 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 grow go get a brain stop being dumb Birds don't want to fly in the dark, so they light up the habitats and keep the guest area in the dark. That's so cool, Level Wolf. I didn't know that. Not for content creators, I know, right? <laughs> That's cool, Jurassic. Yeah. I was thinking the birds would be chained up. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh God, no, definitely not. <laughs> how how horrific would that be? Dang it. That would be, that would be uh, pretty horrific. Mommy, why is that bird chained up to the wall? Well, you see, son, that bird's in danger, so it, we don't want to lose sight of it ever. Uh, Free-flying vulture, walk-in enclosure. It's the same as you where a keeper got mauled by a tiger, so I wouldn't go there. Uh, there's, oh, wow, yeah, that sounds like they kind of risk it for the biscuit too much. Another Instagram thing. Hey, that post blue. Hey, if you're not all following me, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I just started going on there a lot more and actually posting on there and stuff. I was I was I was terrible at Instagram for a long time, but man, does that it drives a lot of traffic. Content creators, if you're not on Instagram, definitely consider going on Instagram and finding a time to post. Um, they have really really good tools too. Uh, shout out to Savannah Banana there. Um, but yeah, I turned into a business account so I can see so many amazing analytics. And I love me some analytics. Um, but yeah, I can see how much traffic is driven to my, uh, just everything basically through Instagram. And it's so nice. So yeah, content creators, Instagram, boom. I'm sure everyone else is like, well, duh, dude. Like, get Instagram, duh. I just learned you can use Instagram on the computer. Like I hated using it on uh, on my phone because I got big fat thumb fingers. Big fat thumb fingers. Yep, that's what I said. I have big fat thumbs, so it's like really hard for me to funk around on my phone for too long. Um, but yeah, now that I learned there's like a creator studio on uh, on the computer that I can do, I'm like all over that. Don't even have personal and just haven't gotten around to it. It's really cool. There's, there's some really good stuff there. Yeah. More traffic than Chinatown. You betcha. <laughs> it, it's been pretty good. I was I was really surprised um, how well it's done. It's been, it's cool too because uh, it's a bit of a game to me trying to find the opportune time to post and stuff like that because I, uh, I was trying out a few different times and it seems like 9 a.m. might not time to work. 9 a.m. my time is the opportune time for me there. And yeah, again, it was kind of a fun little dip and weave game to kind of find that out and read the analytics and get all that right. And yeah, it was, it was, it's been fun. Yeah, now I got it. 9 a.m. CST. That's when I try and uh, post things. You should leave you should you should I can't remember who has one who doesn't have a uh, an insta because I've had a lot of people following me the last few days content creators and otherwise but uh, yeah if you don't I definitely recommend it for content creators you should also consider TikTok. then are you being serious like should I should I actually I've had um, a few people tell me that 
Well, actually, I've had both sides of the aisle say that it's really good, but maybe not for this type of content creation. But if you think it's actually a good idea, I probably would consider it. Just upload, like, little snippets of builds. And I want to use them to kind of make... get, like, more personal, I guess. Like, actually, like, what's going on in my life. Because I know that's kind of, like, what drives more traffic to uh, people's channels is kind of getting in the more, like, here's me <laughs> kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that might be good for that, too. You like TikTok? You've seen Planet Zoo TikToks? I've never been on TikTok before. I've, I've never done it before. Uh, so I have no idea when it comes to all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, honestly, if you think it's a cool thing, it would be, you know, a good thing for the channel or whatever, I'd totally check it out. Another outlet, I guess, for uh, sharing content. Can't hurt. The more channels, the more travel. Well, that's it, right? Yeah, exactly. The more uh, the more outlets. Yeah, never stop getting more outlets. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'll look into that. Can you do TikTok on the computer? Like, not to sound like a boomer, but, like, I seriously hate being on my phone for a long time. Like, you know the weekly reports you get for your phone, like, how long you've been on it or whatever? Mine are always, like, super low. <laughs> I'm such a boomer when it comes to uh, being on my phone. Again, it's just like my thumb is so big, so I can't even like do anything. And like I half the time trying to spell something, it comes out like an alien language. It's like fuck, this sucks. Most popular thing now, I guess. It, yeah, it is pretty much. There you go, Silver Fox. Yeah, you know I was kind of thinking about stuff like that. Um, hey, Livy, cookie checking in. How we do? We're doing good. Thanks for asking, there, Livy. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I was thinking about doing that where doing like morning walks. Maybe TikTok will be perfect for that. But I was going to start doing live streams with like taking Murphy to the park or uh, stuff like that. Just like quick little, you know, half hour morning streams. If I go to the park with Murphy or take him on a walk, just load up on my phone or get like a selfie stick and just walk around and have a morning chat with y'all and see Murph running around and stuff. But yeah, that's just kind of like what I've been thinking in the back of my head. Uh... Just kind of getting more personalized stuff in there. Where's this roof that I want? Right there. It's at the top. It's asphalt. That's what it is. I can't remember the name of it. I'm such a boomer when it comes to being a boomer. You betcha. I'm a millennial when it comes to being a boomer. So what does that mean? That I'm entitled to being a boomer? <laughs> that was a boomer thing to say. <laughs> oh, God. What breed is he? Uh, Murphy is a uh, black short-haired lab slash German short-haired pointer. Short, short. <laughs> so he's all energy. Dog vlog. Yep. Dog vlog. Morning walks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We'll totally watch that. Nice. Okay. Can you TikTok on a computer? <laughs> Was that a, or awesome? <laughs> so I guess that's a no. <laughs> Like, I know you have to upload it all through your phone or whatever, but, like, can I, can I just not do it all through my phone? Because <laughs> I figured, you know, I could do Instagram through the computer. So, like, just, just give me the option to do everything. If it's, a, if it's on the phone, let me do it on the computer, too. Fuck phones. Oh yeah, we're super millennials, that's right. Yep, 89, baby. I was born when the Berlin Wall fell. Woo! I think, it, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Berlin Wall was September. I'm pretty sure that's, that's when I was born. <laughs> Hey, uh, Agaron. Agaron. I know I mispronounced your name. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Only fans? Yeah, we'll run out of Pornhub too, right? Aren't people actually, aren't streamers actually going on to Pornhub and like making accounts to get around like YouTube and stuff like that? So they can say like despicable things or whatever. <laughs> oh, I got you, M. <laughs> I got you. Did you know the Berlin Wall fell by accident? Did it? All those people pounded on it for months and months didn't have anything to do with it? I'm just I'm just kidding you. But did, did it really? I'm kind of curious about that. November 89. Okay, so a little bit. A little bit past. <laughs> yes! Upload to the upload the PZ builds to the hub. That's right. Are we also calling Pornhub the hub from now on? Is that what's going on? I've said porn enough times in this YouTube video that I'm going to get demonetized. Who wants to put money on it? Who wants to put money on it if this, uh, this video gets demonetized or not? Because I said porn so many times. Porn, porn, porn! Porn, 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 porn! Porn, 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 porn! <laughs> I bet you a million bucks I get demonetized now because I said it that many times. <laughs> Y'all think I'm kidding too. It's not a joke. Like the the bots on YouTube are trained for this stuff. They know what to listen for in the in the vocal chord changes and everything. Why don't you just say bomb on an airplane? Bomb 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 bomb. <laughs> always makes me think of Meet the Parents. Hey Planet Zoo blogger, how you doing? Hey Loritz Gaming. There you go. Yep, I, I bet you would. <laughs> uh, your, your nephew's near? For some reason, Harry, I feel that that's like the least offensive thing that your nephew has heard being around you. <laughs> the secret word is porn. Today's secret word is Planet Zoo Pornhub. See, that just sounds all bad. There's none, none of that is good. Nope. This roof support system is getting on my nerves. Whose idea was it to support the roof? Oh yeah, it's mine. Cause I'm a nerd. Cause this is another one of those things where, guess who's gonna see this? Fucking nobody. <laughs> but he's still gonna do it. Some sugar on my <laughs> By the way, yes, I do know that there's random banging noise going on. Like every once in a while, you might be able to hear. Uh, we got a new entertainment system, like uh, for our TV and everything. So the wife is, oh god, putting that together at the moment. I said you, you can wait for me if you want to, and she said no, because it was late. It was late by like a week, so we've been just sitting here like, where is it? Lay off me, I'm starving. And yeah, it finally came, so she's like, woo. All right, so there we have a bunch of light coming in. I like how that's gonna look. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool there. I come around this corner. It'd be cool if we could block this a little bit. You know what we can. Let's do some blocking action. Someone so we get the fridge. We can do some blocking here. All right, here we go. Were you uh, 
play the prawn hope and show to your family and see the reaction and catch them up. Was that the thing? I, I, I think I saw it on Twitter or Reddit where someone threw a... No, no, never mind. It was something totally different. It just it made me think of it, though. There was this... I just watched this... Um, oh, what's the actor? Not John Candy. Not Jim Belushi. Chris Farley. There was this really good Chris Farley documentary on YouTube that was in my recommended. I finally watched it. Um, and they said that, like, a prank that Chris Farley played at, like, a family meeting or family gathering or whatever was that you take a like a porno like a maxim or a playboy or whatever and uh, like on the second story uh he would just like throw it down like right into the living room for like the second story or, like staircase or whatever like wide open and just wait and see like anyone's reaction or whatever and he said it would like it would kind of out some of his family members like oh so he's this this family member didn't get that upset they were actually were pretty uh pretty happy about <laughs> about finding it kind of thing that'd just be the same thing imagine like dropping your phone or like something down like a stairway and then like just have a porn hub tab open to see what their reaction is like oh god or oh Oh god. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna need the other Blaster set there. I think that's too low. Where is Frank? Where's where's where the heck is Frank? Where's Frank? Found him. Oh, yep, that's a little bit too small. Okay, try that again. <laughs> oh no, Todd. <laughs> uh. When she has ordered new plants, so I'm busy, so she puts the shelf up herself. Oh, yeah. Yep, exactly. She's like, I'm just doing it myself. I'm like, all right, you do it yourself, then. Take your sassy self and do it. Or my favorites, do it, you won't. Usually she will. <laughs> Fine, you won't do the dishes? I'll do the dishes. Do them, you won't. Yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> That's right, babe. You showed me. You did those dishes. It's been too small, I know, right? Yeah, I actually measured a little bit too small there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come back through and do a lot of detail work. They were just kind of getting the infrastructure uh, mainly. Oh, I really like how that looks as you kind of come through here. Nice little reveal as you come across. I think that's gonna look pretty neato speedo there. I mean, yeah, the, the big thing is gonna be finding these paintings and making sure they look good. That's gonna take a little bit of time there. So I go on to Le Google. Frank's looking like the tabs are left open. Oh no, Frank, don't out me. You know, there's not many times that I'll kind of say that a build looks really, really stinking cool, but this is actually looking pretty stinking cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it's those billboards, man. The billboards are really uh, shining through as just to why we've needed these like for so long, right? Because these are just so nice. Hmm. We could try a 16 meter one to see if it stretches across the whole way. They're the 16 or 32. Ooh, that might work, but the only thing is it's only going to be the top half of it, right? Because the rest of it's going to be sunk below. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. I don't know if it's going to work. We could try and squish down the picture a little bit. You know, fuck, man, actually. Oh, hey. That's not the worst. Could you mirror the image? I would have to do it in Pixlr, but yes, that's not a good. That's a good idea. But I kind of like. What do y'all think of this? I kind of missed the river that we had because that was kind of cool. But I think this kind of looks neat. 
I looked, <laughs> Frank is gonna expose that gamer girl bathwater purchase. I know, dang it, Frank. I keep it in a safe spot. All right, let me try that real quick. Cause that, that'll take two seconds to do, right? That'll take two seconds to do. We'll, we'll get options. Love it. I do too. Panty drop. <laughs> <laughs> I like it too, but you know what? Now that you mentioned the mirror option, that'll you know that'll take again two seconds to do. So let me open that up. We'll try it out. And go from there. Where is that? It's called something weird. Here it is. Hazy light. <laughs> I don't know why it's called that. Uh, all right. So let's take you. Crop rotate. Flip this way. There we go. Save all the way. Boom. Go here. Downloads. Drag, drop, user media. Oh wait, rename this first. Uh, mirrored river. JPEG. User media dropped back into the game. Uh, for now, we're gonna get rid of this. Hello, you. That's copyright. So now we we'll look up mirrored river. Blammo. You know, I, I honestly, either way, it kind of works. I think the 16 meter one works a little bit better, but it's a it's a good idea with the uh, with the mirror for a future. I don't know why you like it. I like it too. I, I don't know which one I like better though. Different from the other one? Yeah. With the river system? I like the river too. She posted in your Discord about the filter feature and Sam filter feature. What is that? So made a helpful gift for those? Not in franchise. Basically nowhere. To... Let me let's just real quick seal. Silly. Oh, though, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know about those features, the filter features. Yeah, they are really nice. I'll show what uh, Sile noted here. Uh, these filters here, so you can kind of go down to, if you only want Amir Leopards, Bacterian, and Binturongs, uh, then those will be the only one that show up, except apparently it's not working. <laughs> wait, wait, confirm. Oh, you have to confirm. There you go. So then only those ones will come up. So that's a, that is a nice, you know, that, it's nice that that's there. But in my opinion, and this is a, this is a whole thing. Uh, see, you have to confirm for it too. Uh, too much clicking. This page system is just another button in there. There should be a search tab right here. If they're going to do pages, don't have a scroll as well. Don't have a scroll and pages. That's just... The solution for fixing UI to Frontier is adding in more things for you to click, which it does not in turn fix things. It makes more steps for people to keep going through. So get rid of the scroll altogether, have this fill up the entire page, and get a search bar right here. Done. Keep the filters, that, those are great. The filters are great. That That is like UI 101, but again, Get rid of this scroll bull crap. Only have pages, and then get a search bar right here. Thank you. Done. <laughs> Stop trying to be overly clever with the UI and just just fix it simply. <laughs> oh man. I just I don't know I don't know who the UI manager is for Frontier, but they have been fucking up for a while man <laughs> and i'm glad that nick made that video because i was a little bit numb to it and then nick made that video this morning about talking about it and it's just like man the ui is just bad in this game and it keeps getting worse <laughs> whenever they try to make it better they actively make it a less enjoyable experience for the player and it's like dude like at this point i'm sorry but just it's bad it's so bad <laughs> yeah, just fix it right. Yeah, I mean, at a certain point, you know, I can, and I think that's what it was. Like I said, it kind of became a little bit, I don't want to say completely numb to it, but 
it just was kind of a thing that was a thing you know the ui was bad and it just was what it was but it's like this recent update they literally just updated it to make it worse for the sake of making it worse it didn't fix it didn't help anything so yeah no that that's that's nuts <laughs> that, that's just that's kind of nuts oh you don't have to worry about that wood chimp you definitely don't have to worry about that <laughs> I don't think I've ever been one to uh, really clamp down on how I feel about something if I if it's something like this, for for better or worse. <laughs> Trying to go for a minimalist approach? Yeah, well, that's the thing. They can't do a minimalist approach for. Well, you just said it perfectly. You, you can't do a minimalist minimalist approach rather for a game that has hundreds of animals and is going to be getting hundreds of more animals and stuff, right? So it's like, oh, I don't know what they were thinking. Hey, Emma, good to see you. Good to see you there. All right, so I think we can start adding in just, uh, well, where's my, I haven't looked at my reference there for a little bit. Uh, there's like some railings and stuff I want to add in. Not this one. Let's look at the next one. Oh, the next one goes into the big aviary area. Let's keep going. Keep going. Oh, I didn't mean to take a screenshot. Keep going. Oh, you know what we need to add in? We need to add some doors here. Parent who buys you Yu-Gi-Oh cards when you're obsessed with Pokemon. I know, right? It's like they... <laughs> the community says, hey, kind of have an issue there with your uh, UI. Oh, yeah, for sure. We hear you. We'll go and fix that. And then they just... Just... They, <laughs> I don't know. They just don't get it. <laughs> you know? They just, they just don't fully fully get it, I guess. Oh, well. Just, just learn to, to build around it. Yeah, it's like they, they listen, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, so you guys want, you want, you like animals. Okay, so here's an all, only animals. Oh, you like scenery a little bit too. Okay, so watch the next pack. Okay, here's, an, here's a scenery only pack. No, we like, like take almost the amount of animals that you had in the animal only pack and then do scenery too. <laughs> which that might be a big ask uh talking to some people it might be a big ask to do that many animals that many scenery items i guess but um but yeah that's just like they always like they're listening but it's always like just a little bit short of what the community fully wants kind of thing right <laughs> for build pieces that'd be nice yeah yeah we're doing a birdhouse there Keem. yep So we have that. You know, we're going to take out the carpet here. What's an obscure animal you've been wanting to see in game, either through Frontier or modding? Ooh, I'm not the best to ask for that because I'm not really an, um, an animal nerd there too much, uh, like a lot of the other ones, a lot of other people are. So, ooh, I don't know. Because we have the moose. Oh, you know what? Uh, beaver. I'd love to get a beaver in game. How about that? But yeah, I'm probably not the best to ask about the, the modding there. You end up watching for 20 minutes instead of building a damn thing. Hey, I do the same thing. I cannot watch other people while I stream. I can't do it. Because I will end up, yeah, like you said, like talking to them or uh, just paying attention to their build. So yeah, I'll usually like to still support streamers and like buddies and stuff. I'll throw the stream on and then turn the sound almost all the way down. Um, and then I'll open up another tab and I'll have to like be building whatever else. I'll, I'll pop back and forth, but yeah, it's so difficult to uh, to stay up with it like that. What am I trying to do here? Yeah, I just want to put up another advertisement here. So here's an open invitation to anyone. If you are into graphic design and you just kind of have some time on your hands, you want to make uh, some little like poster boards or anything for Thornton Hills Zoo. I, I kind of have a nice 
keeper circle, like members kind of thing here that I made. Um, but yeah, if, if anyone is kind of, you know, bored, just hanging out, wants to make some interior posters or signs for the birdhouse here or just Thornton Hills Zoo in general, uh, please feel free and let me know. I would love to do that kind of stuff. I suck. <laughs> I am terrible at uh, Photoshop and stuff like that, except for like the bare minimum. Um, so yeah, if you are into that kind of stuff and it's not too much of a hassle, again, you, if you think you'll have fun with it, that's the main thing. Make sure you have fun with it. Don't, don't do it just cause you, you know, it's all I have to do it. Uh, if you think you can have a fun time with it, make sure you do that there. So, Hey Becca, good to see you. Stuff is new, like bands cards. I know, Bolt, I would too. But you know, that would make me a bit of a hypocrite though, because, uh, I already mentioned before, like, I don't think they should focus on one or other of the community. When you have a sandbox community and an animal zoo loving community, um, I don't think it's a, a great idea to focus on only half of the community. And I, I would still feel that way, even if it was an, a scenery only pack. You know me, I'm a big scenery person. I still think it would be a bad idea to disregard the animal half of the community, essentially. Oh, nice, Joaquin. Yeah, whenever you think it's ready to give an update, be sure to uh, let us know there. Or submit it back for the community showcase. So one second, everyone. I'm going to... I'm not going anywhere. Actually, I'll let you follow a an animal while I do. I'm going to jump over to Google and try and find a cool billboard image to use there for what I think is going to be Blue Jays. We're going to put Blue Jays in that one there. So why don't you all follow the Clouded Leopard there around. There you go. Look at that guy. Look at him. I feel like that might be on speed, but we're good. There you go, follow them. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and find a quick image there, so be right back. I'll be right back. So let's see, blue, J, bird, information, sign, image. So here you go, bam, blue J spirit guide. Well, that's not so much, I don't want like a spirit animal thing, but that's Kind of, that could be a cool tie-in with Native American type things. Uh, what else do we have here? What about the wiki? Let's just go to Wikipedia. That's a good one to go to. Blue Jay information. And then we just take our snip tool and then we'll snip that out from the wiki. So, cool. Let's see. So, Blue Jay here. If you let me know what kind of signs you want, you'll make me some. Will you, Bolt? That's awesome. I'll uh, I'll let you know. But yeah, I guess just think of like custom events that would be cool to advertise for the zoo. So like I put down that brew at the zoo sign that works really well. I think that's for the Maryland Zoo, but maybe like the boo at the zoo event for Thornton Hills Zoo and like, um, <clears throat> yeah, just like look up zoo events that they do and then it kind of substitute it for Thornton Hills Zoo. Um, and then, yeah, just some kind of general animal information signs especially for the birdhouse like if you make specific bird like information signs to use i'll kind of look for those birds to use in particular so uh oh what's going on with the they having a little bit of an issue <laughs> i missed it <laughs> having trouble sleeping oh no no he's not looking too good <laughs> This might be a better site to listen to. Ah! That's what a blue jay sounds like. That's a that's a actually pretty good. Why don't I just use this? Yeah, we're just gonna use this image. What is this? It's a JPEG blue jay. Um, I could do some custom in-game voiceovers. Ooh. Yeah, when we get custom audio. I think we could do it with billboards right now, um, but it'd be cool to do it when we get custom audio. All right, let me um, boot back over here. Like, they, yeah, they can. That's, and I think they're so cool because uh, of it. Bolt, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's awesome. 
and yeah, whatever you come up with is is great, even if it's just one thing, you know, that's that's more than I'd ever be able to do. So yeah, that's awesome. That's stuck on a loop. Yeah, there's been kind of a few buggeroonies with this pack. So let's put uh, I just want to put a little like I guess information sign about the the burb the burby and my information actually not even information sign I guess just like a this is what's in here there you go this is what's in here <laughs> and then underneath of it we can <clears throat> excuse me gosh but where's that sign over here Soaking Ravens, my buddy had a blue jay that cursed worse than my cow. <laughs> what? <laughs> I knew that ravens could kind of do that. I didn't know that blue jays could uh, mimic humans that well. That's interesting. Change the color of this a little bit. This was originally made by uh, Savannah. By Simply Savannah. She did a really good job on that sign pack. <clears throat> Shown that off a few times. Let me get a drink. Holy cow. The Corvids, uh, the prep of the Goth Burb family. So corvids, does that mean they can, corvids are smart birds? So that means that they're, those are birds that can mimic really well. We used to own a African gray that was really good at that kind of stuff. Almost too, well, I think I've told the story before. We had to get rid of it because of that reason. It, it started mimicking the, uh, oh, these can't change color. That's okay. Um, yeah, I used to mimic the microwave timer at like three o'clock in the morning over and over and over and over. <laughs> it was the worst. So yeah, we had to get rid of it. We definitely had to get rid of it. Oh, shit. I just selected like half of the park or half the zoo. Okay, let's make this a sign. We're gonna boop this all over the place there. Right, hey, welcome back, Lovro. Including ravens, crows, jays, etc. Gotcha. There's subfamily of raven. Interesting. Hmm. I like crow and raven family. Yeah, there you go. We haven't seen the uh, texture up close. These are plaster. A lot of these are plaster walls. Yeah, plaster walls for the win, my friend. Oh wait, are these plaster walls? Oh, you know what? My bad. So, I have a few things going on here. So these are the primitive walls, the primitive arch shape rectangles. This is the is Indian rug, Indian carpet one, recolored. And that's the same thing with the carpeting back here as well. But yeah, Indian carpet one. There you go. All right, next up, fix this just a little bit there. Hey, thanks, Ray. 
We do need, you're not wrong. I would love to get me some burbs. Need them, need them, need them. Yeah, coming in your head. Yeah, okay, can't you hear it as you kind of come over here? Hear that? This is a squawking <laughs> as you come over. Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, so we have a door there. There be, I think there would be another door right here too. Yeah, I, I know I just made like this whole archway like thing there, but honestly, I think there'd be another door here in between separating each, like an airlock almost, right? For the burbs. Just in case they did get out, at least they'd be kind of contained to one area. Everyone's purpose so will just uh, turn the exhibit cube into a cage and just no. That's that's what I hope they don't do, right? Ugh. That's what we're talking about. Where it's like they listen, but then it's like no, but not like that. <laughs> they want birds. Oh, okay, put them in small exhibits. No, but not like that. <laughs> we want birds like that. Fly around and be birds and stuff. Not exhibit animals that have a uh, animation. And that's kind of the the fear about getting birds a lot of people have is that frontier have made a point that every single animal is personable right is you can actually click on it and i and a lot of others would like it to be like we can get a flock of birds like in here i would love to get a flock of prairie birds or temperate birds where it's like blue jays and cardinals and you know all these other things there maybe some cranes back there um but yeah the way it goes now like would we be content with only getting four birds and an exhibit animal in a DLC? Or getting seven birds and an exhibit animal if we went that way? Because I think a lot of us would kind of not be. We, a lot of us are thinking we want birds, right? But the way the Frontier's been doing it, we would get birds. You are a bird leaf. <laughs> hey, uh, Crownie. So you're watching this, there you go, yeah. They flew from perch to perch, would be happy. That'd be cool, yeah. Some more sizes of exhibits with alternate shapes. Yeah, well that's, I think they'd have to kind of do something like that. Yeah, we'd have to get different sizes of exhibits, I guess, if they're gonna go the exhibit kind of route. Which I think that they would go that route. Some people have mentioned before, what if they went like the VFX route, and I don't know that they would do that, just because again, they, they've kind of, stated or it's been known that all animals in Planet Zoo have to be able to get clicked on. You see their name and you see what their hunger and all that kind of, you know, they're personable. Personable. Yeah, right, exactly, Level Wolf. That's a great point. Yep. Goose, emo, kiwi, penguin, and chicken. Not a single avian species. <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to do exhibits. Like, PK, I, I totally agree. It would be fantastic if they did it like uh, PK did it. I'm with you. Yep, the option to make it uh, invisible is perfect. Or null. Are there any blue jays on the workshop? I know there's a cardinal from Drock, but I don't know that, um, kiwis are really cute. I like their really long bill. Uh, I don't think there's any blue jays or any other kind of like, again, deciduous or temperate kind of forest type bird. I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to explain what kind of bird I'm <laughs> thinking of there. I agree. I think they can add more penguins too. I totally would be down for more penguins, especially the uh, what's the was it the fairy penguin? Isn't that like a really well-known uh, penguin species?
excuse me. French Eagles, they were flightless, so that would be easy for Frontier to put in game. Oh, there you go, yeah. Be a dodo. It's actually scenery bees. No! <laughs> Owls would be really cool, yeah. Oh, it's the smallest penguin found in Australia. Yeah, I would love to have the. I'd love to have that then. You know what? Why am I trying to use in-game items when we have from ZZ? We have an awesome North America pack and European pack too. A foliage. Again, I love that I run a community showcase. <laughs> I get all these, this access to all these amazing blueprints week in, week out. All right, let's see. Mushrooms. There it is. Utah Holly. Rock hoppers or macaroni penguin. <laughs> we put a little uh, water coming from the river path. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'm not sure how to get away with it fully, but now that you mentioned it, maybe we'll put some more of the reeds and stuff. I have ideas just all over the place right now for this. Yeah, the water, I was kind of thinking that too, but I don't know how we're going to get that to, well, actually yeah, I do. I have an idea. Ooh, it's a little bit too long. Hmm. The waterfalls. Wait, these. Uh, the... Yes, I think we're on the same page there. I think we're on the same page. that though darn it oh they both have it each side does I mean that's not too bad actually you know what I might be able to make that work I think it's gonna work. Hold on a second. Maybe the waterfall from the top would look okay instead of them from the front. Maybe the waterfall from the top would look okay instead of from the front. From the top. So. You mean just like straight up? Ooh, the interior is so hard to build in here. Well, no, because we're gonna have to have it look like it's flowing, right? So yeah, I think we'll actually I think we'll go like this. Skinny it up. Come out to about here. The only thing that buggers me a little bit is the foam. Because everything else we're going to be able to hide. No problem. I guess we can probably hide the foam too. Ah, see that damn foam. New idea. I don't I don't like the foam. It it doesn't really work. Can't add water. Maybe. 
could just try and add water. If not, then maybe a fountain? Not tall enough. Well, actually, you know what? That kind of works. Kind of works. All right, let's try that. So I'm a little bit quieter, it's just, uh, this is, this is a kind of a fun idea. Just gotta kind of work it out real quick. Regulars will know that. If I get quiet, it's just because I'm trying to figure something out there. For a hot second. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good! And then we'll come back in with the... Reeds here. This is what I was talking about earlier. Combining, not reeds, but some, we'll use something else. But combining the billboards with uh, 3D physical, you know, 3D sets and stuff like that to really uh, drive home. Just sell the whole thing. Actually, the elephant grass might be the best thing here. It, it is. Yeah, it's totally the best thing. So, yeah, the combination of the billboards, the physical sets, the foliage, everything kind of comes together to make this really, really nice. Nice effect for the guests. So that's a good point there, Oliver. Yeah, it would. If you wanted to go and grab, you could put a screen on the ground and then you can go get water. And you can make a water, you know, an extension of the water from billboards as well. Yep, totally. We, we did that in Planet Coaster all the time to make prettier water. You can even find gifts and stuff like that of still water that's like um like a lake or a pond or anything like that so yeah absolutely definitely could go that way extending the image physically out yeah yep okay so yeah Smaller, more cheer. Gosh, excuse me. Big ol' yawn there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did. Yep. So that's definitely going to make it a little bit nicer there. Blend it all in.
And remember, we're building for about here-ish. This is where the guest view is. So this is what we really, really care about overall. So now that we're here, kind of see that we need to lift up back plants a little bit more. Yes, yep, what Silver Fox said there. Yep, some can. Like your primates and stuff like that, yep. Red Panda, yep, the Red Panda can climb on stuff. Pretty much if it kind of seems like it should be able to, you know, if it climbs in real life or whatever, it, it'll probably do the same thing in the planet, in planet Zoo. All right, I think just a little bit more foliage and kind of good with this habitat here. Nice, Todd. Uh, anytime, buddy. We'll catch you later. Have a good rest of your day there. Cool, yeah, I like that. I think it looks pretty dang good there. Whole thing and have it be uh, decorative. Well, you can check, Woodchimp. You can check if, uh, pretty sure. Let me see here. So if we go over to an animal, I know that climbs. Where are we at? Here we go, Gorilla Trail. Let's go down Gorilla Trail here. There he is. So if we click on uh, Hassan here, and you go to the terrain, it tells you right here, navigable climbing area. And animals that want it, they'll tell you how much climbing area that um, they need, quote unquote, for their welfare and all that kind of fun stuff there. So uh, yeah, it, it'll tell you beforehand. I think it tells you in the Zoopedia too, wherever that is, this thing. So red. Look, you got in the in this thing we have a, <laughs> a search bar. Uh, the red panda here. If you go into the natural habitat, there you go. Right here, it tells you too. This is in the Zoopedia and natural habitat. Right there, climbing requirement. Oh, there you go. All right, so we have that one done. This one here is... All right, guests don't see the pool. No, you're right, they don't. Nope, they don't. So all that water and stuff that we messed with the whole time really kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> even, even if I take out this bush that I just got, you still can't really, from the guest perspective, see the water, but it still kind of sells it. So, you know, that whole, like, what, 15 minutes or 10 minutes that we were sitting there dinking around with uh, the water stuff. Yeah, I kind of did all come out to the conclusion of uh, the guests can't really even see the water anyway. So, uh, you know, just kind of how it goes sometimes. <laughs> the idea is there, at least. If we delete it, then you can see it. Because, I mean, here's what it looks like. Uh, here's what it looks like without it. Actually, either way, it's kind of... <laughs> Let's change the color of the water a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, change the water, it'll be a little bit more clear to see. 
or distinguishable. There you go, that map matches the water almost perfectly. Yeah, Frank, stop shooting the birds. You're scared, everyone. Dang. <laughs> yeah, this looks good from the birds, I respect. You betcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so there we go. Nobody go across that line there. Appreciate it. Lift this up a bit. And don't forget, we have no paths in here, so we do not have to really worry about where the guests will be walking. Or now we're kind of... We know where they'll be walking. Or where they should be walking, at least. Ha! Huh, nice, silly. <laughs> that works out, doesn't it? What are you building today? Or anybody. It goes for anybody. If you're currently attempting to build or you are building what are you what are you building today how many people started birdhouses because of this stream <laughs> i think we had two or three people say that they were starting a birdhouse exactly harry don't be a karen and get inside the exhibit it's gone That'd be like a Karen's kid, so that'd be a Kyle. Don't be a Kyle. Sorry, Kyles. I didn't choose it. It chose you. Ooh, a Binturong! I've only built the one Binturong uh, habitat so far. Here's your, if you're starting a birdhouse, there's Harry. Leticia, you okay? You want to talk about it? You okay? We can talk about it if you want. But you gotta do it in in normal adult language. Working on the lie jungle today. Gonna finish up some infrastructure, then work on your black bear cougar. Nice. Noise. Hey, thanks, Becca. It's been really fun to do, too. I can tell I'm kind of coming near the end of it. I'm doing a lot of uh, circle spinning with the camera and everything there. But that's probably the perfect place to wrap up because the next bit that we're going to do... Let's see, we have one, two, three. Let's take a walk through it real quick. I might, might add one more smaller exhibit. Let's take a walk through here real quick. Birdies. Bird, bird, bird. And go past here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this tiny little exhibit there. Come in, we have our blue jay. 
Heck yeah, looking good. And then come through here, and we have our something else. Uh, this did turn out pretty cool. This 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 turned out pretty cool. <clears throat> I gotta go through and do some infrastructure stuff. But you know what? That kind of feels like a good spot to maybe call it there for the day. I do think we'll be live with this again tomorrow because there's no way unless I go on a big bender tonight. I don't think I'll be finishing the uh, the old uh, birdhouse tonight there. But yeah, we got a lot of good start going. So cool. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hang out with you all for just a minute or two as we let's go to the Sun Bear, catch up with chat and everything. But yeah, overall, we'll be wrapping up the build portion of the stream today. Do, 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 do. Thanks, so, Fox, everyone else there. Working on a large mixed habitat. Uh, have you looked at the Malayan tapir mixed species? They can, yeah, they can go with everything, basically. They can even mix with the Indian elephants. Isn't that great, uh, Kayla? Yeah, they can mix in with just about uh, everything. If those of you that haven't seen, yeah, the new Malayan tapir there. I don't think I have one. I might, no, I don't have one there. Um, yeah, they, they can go with a heck of a lot of different animals. Ugh. So, I mean, I hate this stupid next system. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I call the Malayan tape here? There it is, yeah. So if you go to the ZooPD, look at this. With their, uh, inter they do the Bentarong, the Orangutan, the Indian Elephant, and the Proboscis Monkey. Holy cow! They can they can do everything basically uh, with all the different animals. So that'd be good. now. Do the, can the Bentarong also go with about? A, so they can go with the Sun Bear and the Malayan tape here. What about the orangutan? What else can you do? You can go with the tape here, so that's pretty good there. Indian elephant, probably only the tape here. Oh, and the proboscis monkey. That's interesting that the Indian elephant likes the tape here and the monkey there. And the proboscis monkey overall likes the tape here and elephant. Huh, yeah, no, good shot there. There's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different animals that they can go with. Let's go on our sun bear here. There it is. <laughs> Still gotta finish out this back area too from the sun bear habitat. Uh, we got most of this done on the stream the other day. We gotta think of something to put in the back here there though. I don't really have too many uh I don't have too many ideas. Now how are you climbing? No! No, bear! Don't climb my my non-climbable thing. What are you doing? Bear, stop it! You're not supposed to be able to climb that bear. Gosh, so, but <laughs> cool. But hey, anyways, I'll go ahead and uh, get out of your hair there, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out as always. I do always appreciate it there. If this is your first time hanging out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button there. Also the like button. Both of those will keep you up to date and help out the channel, help out the video there a whole bunch. So, hey, awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Appreciate it as always. And yeah, we'll be live tomorrow at 12 p.m. No, I'm sorry, excuse me. At 1 p.m. rather, Central Standard Time for probably some more Planet Zoo there. So awesome. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.